Hey everyone, welcome back to the Demo Room. This is the channel where we just play around with different things, different settings. We see what we like, see what we don't like, we just do an A-B comparison in a way. We just see what what one setting sounds compared to a different setting. My name is David Jaycox, I'm a pro audio engineer, I also do some studio work, I do this channel, I've done some broadcast, um, A1, A2, for corporate events and band and you name it. Uh, this past year I did a couple corporate events where I just put microphones on people for one of the gigs. Another one was I mixed front of house and also it was a version of Zoom. It may not have been Zoom, I don't remember. It could have been Skype, it could have been Zoom. I don't remember exactly which one, but I did that. I had to do the room and I had to do a couple other things. I had 12 lav mics at one point, and so I had to make all that work, and it went great. Uh, so that was an X32 gig. So for this channel, I'm using LV1 for it because it's the one that makes the most sense for this channel, plus it's my favorite console, that I, and I own it. So, well, let's get started. Let's look at the bass guitar today. Okay, so I'll just switch screens. Okay, so we are now on the mixer window. And so I'm back on my vocal channel. We're going to take a look at our input gain because input gain is such a big deal. Input gain will make or break you. As you can see right over here where my mouse is, here's our input meter, and we're well above where it crosses into yellow. So... Let's back that off a little bit. Yeah, now, uh, interesting. So I'm going to talk and listen. It seems to be getting a little warmer sounding. Now it's one, two, one, two, one, two. Seems to be a little bright, a little bit more bright than it was. Is that proper grammar? A little bit brighter, uh, a little more bright. Okay, so uh, what we have going on here is we've got, uh, on my left right here, we have my laptop with multi-tracks. I've uh, got my microphone. i got my headphones on. And let's go take a look. Okay, so today we're going to be working on the bass guitar. Yeah, okay. I'm going to bring the gain down a little more on this. Hey, it's still almost up there. Hey, okay, so there we go. You know what? Let's do this number, too. And we're going to slide that up. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go to 100. That's usually a safe number. 100 hertz. Yeah. Okay. So, and, okay, mixer one. Now, let's look at our bass guitar, which I found. It's right here, I believe. We'll just pull it down. Channel seven. Pull you down. Okay. Going to hit play. So, channel 7 is bass. Let's go ahead and name it. Okay. So, let's bring it in. It's just a short loop. I think this was a DI. Okay. Let's do some experimenting. Compression. Uh-huh. Now, I still only have three plugins installed so let's do some heavy compression let's go hard soft let's try the limiter Okay, so one thing I noticed with the limiter off, the bass had a lot more of those lows to it. With it on, it seemed to take those lows out. Let's listen again. Okay. 
so there's like this roundish part that I hear when the limiter is off. I think it got thinner, at least on my headphones. Um, this is, you know, your opinion, not mine. So I'm going to... I do like this better, though. Let's, okay. Let's do that. And then... Um, B. Let's do this. I like this better. I don't like the amount of compression, but the sound. It just sounds wimpy. Okay. Let's see what Mix does. That's cool. You know, I play bass and I can deal with that. I can I can live with that sound. Let's bring this up a bit. You hear him sliding his fingers? What I've noticed on bass, when I work on a channel, I, uh, let's go here. Okay. So this is, uh, limiter, turn you all the way up. Uh, okay. This is where I generally end up. And we'll go to here. Uh, let's do it the easy way. Four. Four. And then I turn it on. So my starting point. Uh, something we can do here this section right here right here that I just highlighted this is basically you can make the compressor affect a certain section like we could here let's let's just Let's do it. Now this here links them. How cool is that? You know, just playing with it. Listen. I actually really like it. I play bass, so it's I'm kind of, you know, partial to that. Uh, but that's cool, you know, being able to, if you've never played with 
these things before on like let's say your X32s, M32s, uh TF from Yamaha or even a CL. It's kind of cool to just solo it and hear what's happening. Okay, is it just me, or did it get brighter? Does it seem to be brighter without EQ? Here. That's a compressor. I mean, I... That's crazy what that does. Okay, let's look at some EQ then. Let's just... Seems a little darker. Okay, so now here's another good one you can do. Okay, so if this is in the live world, we got to think about some things. The sound system can only do a certain frequency range. Um, for music, you generally... This is all subjective. Everyone's going to have a different opinion. But I usually do 30, because I anything below that I don't want. And then I drop this down to 8K. I start at 8K. Let's do it the easy way. Okay. Now, I'm going to turn this off. Start the song again. Do this. Uh -huh. There. Let's try this. I didn't really do anything there. You know, I didn't really do anything. Uh, let's do... Okay, let's go back to here. Let's just do this. That, we'll leave that, actually, because I like that. Um, let's put that bottom back in. Okay, so, hey, we can do this. Okay, so let's do, back there, and turn you off. off. Okay. There's a thing where you do 
a you do a compressor where it hits it hard and stays in compression and then you have another one that doesn't so let's let's stack some compression i don't remember that exact well, exactly what it was but let's do this Just playing around, you know. Um, let's see. Okay. See how it got softer. Let's turn that up a little bit. It's interesting. It seems darker, maybe. I'm hearing like a smack, you know? The attack is really smacking it. Okay. Um, let's do... Let's do this. So we have... Let's do parallel stuff. Okay. Rack. Okay. So we'll do bass. Clean and dirty. Dirty. Okay, so. Um, channel. And we want to mangle this guy. Oh, haha, <laughs> that's fun. See, what happens when you do this? is it changes both of them okay do that yeah okay there's clean and dirty so like the drums the kick drum doing that okay now we want to do our routing yep it's going there now this is bus three and four Take it out of the mains. Three, four. Now, just remember, you know, it's nothing on that one. And then this is the mangle. Oh yeah, there we go. Tiny, big. Now, let's do this. Oh yeah, now we'll do this. Do a band one. Okay, now we want to do routing left, right, stereo, all sources, post pan, because if this is a full band. Okay, once again, 
See how we did some EQ on here. We can do some EQ here too. Hey, that's cool. They just kind of squeeze together. Kind of. In the end, what matters is what it sounds like together. So, what if we do this number channel? Let's do this. Okay. Now, <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see what we can do here. That's cool. This is fun, man. <laughs> In my headphones, it's becoming a monster. Oh, how fun. This is giving me ideas and things I'd like to do. Because basically what I'm doing here is I'm taking the two... So I'm routing the kick into the two buses, the bass into the two buses, okay? The pair of buses for kick into drums, same with the bass. Now I'm taking those buses and I'm sending it to a final bus for the final buses. That's cool. Now I'm like, what if I start here <laughs> and just go crazy? So like this could be, let's just name them. I could do kick. Then I could do snare. Toms. Uh, let's do overheads. Uh, okay, overhead. I probably spelled it wrong. Now we have bass. Then guitars. Keys. Vox. Now, this would be just like this. It would be the two kick buses, the two snare buses, you know, so on and so forth. Now... Let's do drums, band, vocals, um, we could do this, music, vox, this is getting dumb, but here's what we have, so all our clean and dirty kick, snare, so on and so forth. We get here. Now we take these guys and route them here. Okay? You following? So, kick, snare, toms, overheads, final groups, go into a drum final, and then all your band stuff, you know, bass, guitar, keys, go into here. And then music would be these two you know, oh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, okay, I'm gonna close you quick. Okay, that uh, channel. Okay, let's go back. Sorry about that. Okay, um, drums. Yeah, so we got drums, a band going to music, vocals hitting vocals, which is kind of redundant. So now you have music and vocals, so you could ride. This one versus that. So you can put that at there and that there. 
at Unity. Now you can't hear the vocals. So you back it off. You need a little more band. Put it up. Then you go into an everything bus, and the everything bus goes to the master bus, and then out to the PA. That's ridiculous, but it would be cool. That's just dumb <laughs> and awesome. Like, that's so many layers. Like, you got, you got, so you'd have to do kick, kick, snare, snare, tom, tom, metal stuff, bass, bass, guitar, guitar, acoustic, acoustic, keys, keys. And then you need more vocal, vocal, something, something. So now we're up to, uh, uh, let's see, it was like here, I think, right? Number four. So 16 to four is 20. You would need 20 subgroups and then go into these subgroups. So 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and then, yeah, 33 subgroups going into the main left, right, going to the PA, which is way too much and overkill, but that would be fun. So, yeah. Anyway, that's bass guitar. Let's bring the bass in again. Um, let's play around some more. I'll just go to here. Um, let's see. You know what we can do? Number seven. This is something someone has done once. Number seven. Okay. Um, we want to go to... This is this guy. Number seven. This is number seven. Number seven. Okay, so these are the bass. Okay. Let's put it here. Now, technically, it's just getting louder, right? So, let's go to channel. So this is going to be in lows. Let's go to 60 is the lowest. And then we want to go 60. And let's change this to 100. And you know what? I have an idea. We're going to... Uh, no, we'll do it this way. Okay. You need headphones for this part because it's 60 hertz. Okay. Now it's getting a little bigger, right? Uh, let's go 60 to 100. Okay. So there's that. Now we'll go 100. Uh, let's mute. Want to turn that on? Where should we go with this one? Uh, so you got a thousand, and then a thousand and up. Okay. Uh, actually, let's go. 5,000 and unmute it. Okay. I'm going to do some touchscreen stuff here. Okay. So here's what we'll do. I'm doing everything on touchscreen right now. So here's the goal, huh?
So now what I did was I built some artificial crossover points. So you could, if you needed to, let's go here. Let's do it the easy way. Nothing but low end. So the super lows, everything up to the crossover this up. And then from mids and up, which this needs to change. I messed this up. Oh, that's easy fix. That's what I did wrong. Okay. So. I was trying to figure out why it wasn't working. So there's your subs. So now if you have a problematic base for the room, you can do some artificial crossover stuff. So that's kind of cool. There's a band I mixed that he split it up in half. So it was two channels. But if you have enough channels on your console and you have the DSP available, why not? So what that was, I don't remember the exact numbers, but it may have been that and. Uh, let's just do it this way. So now I could control however I needed to for the bass guitar. Kind of a cool effect. Uh, yeah, so, you know, you could do something like that with your kick drum. Kind of fun. Uh, there you go. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so that's fun. Anyway, uh, we're at about just over half an hour on this video. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, yeah, I'd kind of like this channel to get a few more views if possible. But, you know, if you hate it, feel free to say so. Uh, tell your friends about it, tell your enemies about it, and have yourself a great day.